Talking Football on WTNS with Steve Corries and Casey Claxon. Welcome to Talking Football from WTNS. Casey Claxon back again with Steve Corries. Talking Football brought to you by Coshocton Regional Medical Center, your local health care team supporting local athletics. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. Coos, week two of the high school football season. We, we've got a warm one this week when last week when we recorded it was a little bit cooler, but this is what we're normally used to, this kind of hot weather at the beginning of the year. It really is. i tell you what, last week, as you mentioned, we thought it might be a little chilly on Friday night but it's definitely heated up this week. Yeah, so heat is uh, going to be a factor in the games coming up this Friday night. But before we talk about Friday's games, let's go back and recap the WTNS game that you had on Friday. On Friday night, we had uh, Ridgewood at Coshocton. Uh, it was a ball game that Ridgewood really played well. They took advantage of all situations. I thought Grant Lommer as a quarterback had an outstanding game running with the football. Also defensively, after a little ragged start early on, I thought they played well defensively too, and I know Coach Slusser has to be happy. This Friday night, we'll have the Ridgewood Generals taking on the Riverview Black Bears. But before we talk about that game, previewing Friday night's game, Coshocton is on the road. They will be at Johnstown. So give us a preview of their game with the Johnnies. You know, I expect a pretty good football game down at Johnstown. It was a game last year that Johnstown won late uh, to beat Coshocton. Coshocton has uh, quite a few of their players back. Also, uh, in the JV game, Coshocton won that JV game. So, you know, you kind of extrapolate it out and you think, well, there's some good possibilities here. But it'll be tough. Johnstown's a tough place to play, but, you know, it's a, I think it's an opportune game. And our feature game coming up on Friday night, the Ridgewood Generals will be at home against the Riverview Black Bears. We'll preview that game and have more on Talking Football right after this message from Coshocton Regional Medical Center. This is Coshocton County. This is our home. And these are the people we are proud to care for. From sniffles to surgeries, from bumps and bruises to broken bones, excellent care is closer than you think. At Coshocton Regional Medical Center, we are proud to provide a comprehensive approach to healing for our community because we believe that home is where care matters most. This Friday night, it's Ridgewood playing host to the Riverview Black Bears. Coos, give us a preview of our feature game on WTNS Friday night. All right, this is going to be a game at Ridgewood, as you just mentioned. Uh, for Riverview, it's going to be a tough, another tough night. Uh, they've got to play at the second IVC team in two weeks. Garraway beat them last week. Uh, Ridgewood uh, is going to be just as strong and just as formidable. So, you know, I think Coach Lasecki is going to want to continue to work with his kids, try to develop them and keep working. But it's going to be a tough, tough night up at Ridgewood. So we'll have the game on WTNS Friday night. That'll be a 6.30 pregame show, kickoff and play-by-play -play with Coos and Chris Wallace. That'll be at 7 o'clock, and we will also live stream the game on the WTNS website and our YouTube channel. So now it's time for our new weekly segment on uh, Talking Football. It's a question for Coos. Uh, last week, Coos, the question was uh, over or under on, on 43 points, and you said under, but by, uh, by my math, of what was 44 points in that game? You didn't miss it by much. Didn't miss it by much, but <laughs> hey, I lost. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, so here's my question for you this week, Coos, and, uh, and I haven't asked you this ahead of time. So my question, we're, we're going to go easy for you today. When, when Coos was a little kid, when he was young, what did you want to be whenever... When you, when you grew up, what, what did you want to be as a youngster? Well, I'll yep. tell you what. When I was a youngster, the, the, what I thought I wanted to be was whatever sport was in season. If it was baseball, <laughs> I wanted to be a uh, professional baseball player. Yeah. If it was basketball, professional basketball. Football, I was a little iffy on that one. But yeah. still, that was kind of what I thought I was going to do when I was, was a youngster. I, I think a lot of kids share that same <laughs> dream. So now you're a pro behind the microphone, not necessarily in the game, but a, but a pro on the mic. So you'll get a chance to hear Coop live out his uh, broadcasting dreams on Friday night again on WTNS. That'll be again a 6.30 pregame show kickoff and play-by-play -play at 7 o'clock. This is Talking Football brought to you by Coshocton Regional Medical Center, your local health care team supporting local athletics. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. Talking Football is a production of WTNS Sports and Claxon Communications.